Hey, we're here with Ginger and the Desert Creations. We are going to be testing the very expensive and also oh wonderful Folk Art Treasure Gold Fire Opal. So let's go paint. We are going to use Montmartre White, Montmartre Black, Deco Art Sapphire because I just got this and I want to see what it does, and Folk Art Fire Opal since the coppery color, fire opal in this case, but since the coppery color is supposed to be what we're testing, we will put that in the middle of where we're pouring out. And me and lids. I will always close those lids. Deep. No, this is regular sapphire. Regular sapphire. I do have deep sapphire. And it's usually too deep for me, so that I wanted to see if regular sapphire was better, and it was on sale! Good old Mark Ma White. Delicate pour of the black. It's probably too much black. I'll try to go easier on it the rest of the way through. Popping in a little bit more at Shafar. 30 pour the fire opal through it. Same again with the white. This should probably be enough to pour and see what it does. I think I want to pour in just a tiny bit more, just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit more of that black. That's what it's doing in the cup. It's already looking at you. <laughs> Got an eyeball in there. Watch, I'm testing the fire opal, so there will be very little fire opal left when this is all stretched out. I'm going to actually come up the middle with the fire opal because I carry on. That looks cool. That looks like it's highlighted. I wonder if it will keep that. Mmm! Where to stretch it? There's very little white, but I like how that looks like it's highlighting it. Must stretch very carefully. Let's pop the bubbles first. here. Yet again, Crazy Spacey shows up. Do you really like the look of that though? Highlights and lowlights and just depth gone mad. Kind of almost looks like the dividing line between the 
planet's atmosphere that is blue and space with the black and the fire and the and the little galaxy hanging out in here. That's kind of cool. Hit it with fire one more time. Oh, and don't knock everything over. I need more shelving. Didn't change much. A little bit. Not much. Oh, yes. Come down and have a look at this. Check out how those paints played together. A little bit of white. A lot of fire opal, black, and sapphire. Crazy good happens from simplicity. Oh, yes. I love the way this one poured out. Yes, indeedy. Beautifully spacey. Hang around for the dry result. There is something very interesting. Now you'll know that I introduced this one in a different video. It was poured on the same day as this one. But they were not poured with the intention. They're not even the same color it, because that's, that's fire opal and this is a copper. Or maybe it's even pearl marmalade. I'm not sure. But they're not the same color, and yet you can pour them, you can pour them separately, and they will twin in this strange way where the lines will just line up and they become this, this twin. It's weird. So, together they are Atmos, because it feels to me like the atmosphere, right as it's getting from the edge of the planet, to the edge of space. Let's take a close look at this thing. There's the spacey part. And I do like what the fire opal is doing. It is expensive as hell, but I do approve. It is a lovely paint. And the loops the blue are doing. It's very, very cool. So this is a two-part, strangely fraternal twin, and that is Atmos. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Bye-bye.